Alright, greetings everybody, Minister Godart is here. You know what I mean? Thank you for joining me. This is QA with MGA. It's gonna be really amazing. You're gonna enjoy this one and it's a one-off video. So there will be no other videos like this on my channel, you know what I mean? So in the meantime, I encourage you to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the music, you know what I mean? Amazing music on the channel. So um nobody for chatting. Let's get right into the questions. The questions were submitted via WhatsApp and Instagram. So let's go. Alright, so my music is influenced primarily by um, German Edward. I started listening to him at about 15, 16. You know, I was introduced by my music teacher, Mr. Shamar Reed at the Mona High School. And from then, you know, I just never stopped because um, the music speaks to me in many different ways. I'm also influenced by people like Romy and Virgo, um, Christopher Wright. Christopher Martin, Tai Chi Bed, um, just to name a few, you know. So it's 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 my music is a melting pot of different different influences from different genres. And the second part of the question asks, what do you think is your style or genre? I feel like my 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 genre is reggae. Um, I feel like I'm more prolific when I'm performing a reggae song, I'm more confident, I'm more passionate, you know, and so, yeah man, I feel like now a reggae man, you don't know, let me know what you think in the comment section below, yeah. Alright, so this is where it gets really interesting, I'm, I love food, you know, um, and so from a very tender age, I began experimenting with, with stuff. Um, I love macaroni and cheese with a tin of mackerel. Um, I like to eat my cheese bread with a ripe banana. And um, that's just a few of the combinations that I do. Um, but the worst one I've done, I remember one time, um, at about 16, 17, you know, I was at my best friend's house and we were cooking. The rice was ready, but the chicken wasn't. I, mean, I love peanut butter, so I'm going to say, I'm going to try the peanut butter and the rice. I got sick. I was sick for days, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the craziest food combination I've ever done, and I wouldn't do it again, trust me. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm a comedian, but my friends didn't agree with me at all. <laughs> so sometimes I will, I will, I will, I will crack a joke, and I will be laughing passionately. And my friend them just sit down and look for me. Except for the times when Roger is around, because Roger normally gets the joke because he likes the kind of jokes that I like. Um, Roger is a friend of mine from Edmonton. <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes Lacian gets the joke too because she's also comedic. So, some of the jokes to get them, some of them. Yeah, and I think, yeah, I think no one really wants to, you know, I think nobody comes to that. <laughs> but my friends are really buying to them too, think that. Uh, uh, right off the bat, a few things come to mind. I'm a very determined person um, and hard work is a byproduct of determination so I am determined I am a hard working but above all else I would have say I am a passionate about people um, passionate about helping people passionate about seeing people realize their full potential passionate about helping people in whatever way I can with the little that I have um, yeah that's basically me and so that is the reason why I started the God Artists and Friends initiative a couple of years ago 
it's about people because God has called us to go into all the world and preach the gospel to people. So the gospel is not just for us to keep to ourselves and sometimes the most effective way of preaching the gospel is reaching people at the, at, at, at the, the point of their need. And so that is one of the things that I really love about myself is that I'm really concerned about people and I'm re willing and ready to share in whatever way I can. I think my fans would be surprised to learn of how athletic I am, you know, versus normally look at the weight and you don't know, underestimate the minister. Okay, I remember one year we went on a church beach trip and um, we were out at Ocho and I played some ball and nobody know how to pick me because I'm a big, you see me, but when I finally get picked, every man want to mark you fat man, you know, so I have to cut two boys and show them and say, yo, nobody underestimate me because I'm a weight, because I'm a size, you know what I mean, so yeah, I play some football, play some cricket, I haven't played in a while, you know, because of the pandemic, but um, yeah man, I may have, may have some speed on me as well, so, but I underestimate me, you know what I mean, I don't know what kind of question. It's man afraid of nothing. What I'm too no? Not you. Um, so I'm afraid of height. Yeah man, maybe that's why I can't make me so short because I could manage to wake up this sun and look up. That couldn't work for me at all. I'm afraid of height, I'm afraid of playing and traveling. In the plane and them things, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it's weird that I've been called to a ministry that will require me to travel at some point. Um yeah, I don't like crowds. I wouldn't say I'm afraid of them. Afraid of crowds, but anything over ten persons, not my space at all. And again, that's weird because of the ministry. You know what I mean? I'm a musician. I'm a singer, so I'm supposed to be in them kind of spaces. But it's not for me at all. Trust me. Alright, so I'm a little country boy from. Mavis Bank, St. Andrew, you know, you got Papi, you know, you Garden Town, Guava Ridge, go up in the Mavis Bank Hills, that's where I'm from. And some of my most memorable moments as a youngster, you know what I mean? Summertime, river time, mango time, mango water, you know, um, skate, we used to make some skate up on the hill, and I tell you, fast like plane. But I used to be the one running behind, you know, running behind the, the skate. Maybe that's why I made it, you know, get so fast over time. But I now go on the skate because I've seen that thing tear up some of my friends. Because sometimes it don't make good. I just fly down the hill, wheel a go the way there, wheel a go the way there. Driver jump over the skate, let the passenger them on the front, and the passenger them now. Ah boy, I never wanted to be in that position, so I always, you know, me prefer running on the skate and just watch and laugh and have a good time. But um, we've had some amazing time growing up in the country, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade that for anything else because, you know, that's a part of who I am today. You know what I mean? So everybody from me with bank, big up on yourself, big up on yourself. Hey, you want to stop? Oh, this one is tricky. This one is tricky. I've never thought about this before. If you could be invisible for 24 hours, what would you do with that time? I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, anybody can answer this question, you know, you can do it in the comment section below. But for me, probably, I would have just go up on a flight, you know, and, and go to New York, walk up and down, and couldn't take a picture because I'm invisible still, but the shop man couldn't shop me either. Because the clothes, I'm going to just move on the body dancing, and 
But they probably go to New York or I can't get a visa, I don't know what I'm saying. But we just go to New York in the early morning, like 6 o'clock today. And then I am till 6 o'clock next day to come back. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if I answer this question. Oh, alright, so we've done a lot of amazing stuff. Um we've traveled, we've shared stage with amazing ministers from all over the world. We've gotten award nominations in a number of places. You know, um, we've done so much. But for me, the greatest achievement is the fact that I get the chance to be an inspiration to people. You know, for me, that is creme de la creme. You know, for many people, it's different things. But the other day, I was privileged enough to, to receive. A text message from a friend who was going through a rough time and she told me that one of my songs one day helped her to weather the storm that she was going through and that for me was mission accomplished that for me is what ministry is really about one day one day it's gonna change yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I can see why somebody would ask a question like this. Um, but I'm looking forward to performing at Rotterdam. Rotterdam! <laughs> well, my friends then would, 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 would have been familiar with that, that line. Um, but um, yeah, and for those who don't know, you can go and research what it really is. And I mean, um, but um, as I said before, the gospel of the kingdom should be preached in all the world. There is no place that I think we are restricted from going as long as our motive is to bring the message of Jesus Christ. And that is what I want to do on that stage. I'm looking forward to Ratatam. I mean, man, the whole of the man, them, full band. I mean, singers, BGVs, and we have Bonafire. Yeah, yeah, man. Looking forward to it. You can't make it. Hold on. Yeah, everybody. So, respect, and I mean, thanks for checking out this QA. It has been amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm humbled to have been able to share and package this, this, this presentation for you. You know what I mean? So, like, share, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends about you know what is happening on my channel. Also, check out the music. You know what I mean? And we have some great content that is about to be dropped. You know, what I mean? you don't want to miss this. So just stay tuned. Keep me prayed up. God bless.